The Select Series Electric Can Opener makes opening cans a cinch. Compact enough to take up minimal space on the counter, this opener has the power to open any can, whether it be small, large, tall, or stout. Power cord storage makes it easy to put away, though you likely won't ever want to. The Westinghouse Electric Can Opener with Stainless Steel Blades is a clear-cut choice to get your food effortlessly. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Pure Indulgence 2-Quart Frozen Yogurt and Ice Cream Maker. This product is a lot of fun to use. It's really easy to operate. First, you need to put your freezer bowl in the freezer. We recommend overnight at zero degrees. Um, and you put it right inside. You put your ingredients in here. You add your ice cream dasher. And this is what turns the ice cream as it freezes. You put your lid on, and you'll notice the lid has a little hole in it right here, where as your ice cream's almost finished, you can add in um, small pieces of fruit or chocolate chips or even a couple of small pieces of nuts. And after you get all your ingredients in, you just turn it on. It's beautifully de designed. It has a stainless steel. Are you still using the troublesome and laborious traditional can openers? Many families nearby all use electric can openers. It only takes three steps. Put the batteries in. Then put it on the can and press the switch. It can completely free your hands without delay. Not only can you open all kinds of cans, but there is also a variety of styles for you to choose from. Why not choose the electric one?
I will explain the operating procedures and the problems that you may face whilst using the product. May you find battery placement to be inconvenient? I'm now going to show you what to do. It's easy to use. First, take the can opener and turn it over. Hold it with one hand and with the other hand, hold the back cover and push it back gently. Or, hold it with both hands, hold the back cover with two thumbs and pull down. When you hear the noise click, the back cover can be taken off. Now, we just need to take out two prepared AA batteries, align them with the positive and negative electrodes of the slots and put them into the can opener. Then, simply slide the back cover back on. Next, take out the can we need to open. Place the electric can opener onto the can and press the switch. Wait a moment and our can will be open. What if it gets stuck during operation? If the can opener gets stuck during the opening process, don't put the can opener off the can sharply. If it suddenly gets stuck during use, then maybe two reasons it's stuck. The batteries are dead. We just need to press the small button at the end of the can opener. If it doesn't respond after doing this, if it still doesn't work, it means that the battery is dead. We need to use a screwdriver. Insert it into the hole, turn the screwdriver counterclockwise, wait for the can to fall off and then replace the batteries. It should be noted that the can opener should not be kept in a wet place. It should be placed and stored inside a drawer. Be aware that some large cans may need to be opened twice. Don't forget that there are various models and styles for everyone to choose from. For more questions, please contact the official email address of the brand and the staff will reply to you as soon as possible. Goodbye and thanks for watching. Thank you.